Okay guys, so we are going to go about drawing our diagram of a meander. The first thing you need to do is make sure you have all of your tools with you. Pencil, ruler, eraser and some colouring pencils. We start, as always, with the ruler and a pencil drawing our frame. So we're doing four nice straight lines and you're taking up maybe between a half to one third of a page A4. Okay, and I'm going to get my eraser in just a minute and I am going to fix the bits that went wrong for me here. Okay, it's a nice tidy diagram, as tidy as we can make it. Now the next thing that we must do is we must give it a title and our title will be Meanders. Okay, so we have it there, that'll do. The next thing that we do is we are going to start by doing something slightly 3D at the front of your diagram. So with your pencil, I want you to draw in a line is going to be our ground. We're going to have a fairly steep vertical and a less steep diagonal line coming up. And that is our cross section of the river. So we are going to continue our river up now into the background and make sure that as our river is going into the background that we are remembering perspective and that it will get smaller the further away it goes. Okay. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to get some blue here and I'm going to mark in my river level. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to do the same Going along here, where we are going to show our erosion in a minute, and I'm going to draw straight across here and tag in these lines showing the depth of our river. Now the other thing that we're going to have to put in is our areas of deposition which are going to be here on the inside bend and here. Okay, so our areas of deposition are going to be our slip off slope. Okay, and we'll show a hint of slip off slope going on here as well. <coughs> I'm going to mark red in these areas where there's erosion happening on the outside banks so ero erosion on the outside and deposition on the inside okay and then I'm going to do a very basic color so blue nice light blue here over my river all the way here up into the background so there we go that's our river ok 
Okay, I'm going to switch to green for the land. So I'm going to do some nice green here along our river banks. And the same on the other side and yours is going to look much better than mine because you have lots of colours to use so instead of maybe the red where I've put to show where the erosion is happening you could go with brown for the soil that will be eroded by our river Okay, so that is most of our diagram. We have a little bit to do though, don't we? If we were in class, we would be talking about, oh, maybe we need to label it. So the first label that we're going to put in, we'll put up here, and we call it erosion. Okay, we will do another label over here. And we'll call it deposition. Down here, we will do another label. We will call it slip off slope. And then down here towards the front. We will do another one and we will call it River Cliff. With undercutting. Okay. So all that's left then is for us to join where our labels are to the feature. So we have our river cliff with undercutting. Oops, we'll undo that. So I want it in black. Put that here. Little arrow. Our slip off slope is here. Our erosion is here. And we have erosion here, so we're just going to show it in two of our areas. And deposition is happening here, and it's happening here. If you wanted to, you could put erosion on the outside bend and deposition on the inside bend. But you will already have that explained in your diagram. Okay, so that is how you draw your diagram of a meander. When you get your diagram done, please send it on. I'd really like to see how your work is progressing. Okay guys, talk to you soon.